button. Hello, this is Noreen from Joy Cards and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, please like and subscribe. Hit that little bell and you'll be notified when my videos release. So now let's go make a card. Hello everybody! Today's card, we are going to be doing the Sit, Stay, Relax. This is from the brand new Stampin' Up! catalog the 22 to 23 and if you need a catalog and you don't have a demonstrator email me and I will get you a catalog and I'm going to be doing something really crazy with the catalogs in a few weeks so it's good to get one now anyway so this sit stay and relax is from the back of the catalog it's a host okay how you get this stamp is really easy if you have a few friends that love stamping up we can do an online um, catalog order which means if you get a bunch of your friends to order and I'll give you a host code and you can earn this for free uh, but you have to host like a party but it doesn't have to be in person it doesn't have to be anything like that you can just have a few friends get some orders going they use your host code and you can earn this for for free and above it depending on how many orders you have so this is really easy to get so if you want to get this stamp email me noreen at joyofcards.com and i'll set that up and you can get this for hopefully free um so this one's really this one i wanted to do first because i just lost my little doggy uh fado he was a pomeranian he was 15 and he died last week so um yeah so i'm i'm doing this one first so this is great because I'm going to use a lot of things from the new catalog so you can see stuff before you buy it. So we've got three cards here. Two of them I'm kind of using the same technique. So we're going to make one of these. We're going to make this one and then this one is completely different and we're going to make this one too. So hold on let's do some new stuff. So we're going to start with this one here. Now this is the new starry sky paper from the new uh, 22 to 24 colors. So five and a half by four and a quarter. And then inside I layered Mango Melody and that's um, three, seven, five by five. And then basic white three and a quarter by four and a half. And then I fussy cut the dog here and I'll show you how to color this in a minute. So, and then we're gonna take another Mango Melody and this is going to be four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Now, all my uh, dimensions, all the products that I've used in all the cards are going to be in the description of my video. So that's when you pull up my YouTube and it has the description right there and it says show more. Click on show more on all of my videos and what comes up is everything. There's no, there's no hiding any dimensions. So uh, dimensions, colors, products, everything that I've used is there so you don't have to like frantically write it down now okay so let's put the card base to the side and now let's start this background here now the first thing we're going to do is make this window because we need to have white paper to make this window and i used welcoming window obviously because that was uh, awesome and i'm going to take some early espresso and stamp it on some kind of stamping pad here we have these in the catalog it'll be in the uh description of my video. There's also links in my uh, description. You can click on them and you can place an order with me, which is awesome. So I'm going to stamp this up and I'm going to put it right at that corner there. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to stamp another one on a piece of scratch paper and I'm going to fussy cut it out like so. So you've got your piece here and you've got your extra piece to fussy cut. And then before we go ahead and start the blending on the main piece here, I'm gonna grab some Balmy Blue and my water painter here. And this is from this three pack here. And there's a really thin pointy one in there that I really love. So I went ahead and I'm gonna be using this. I filled it with water, just get it, get it going. And very, very carefully, and this is why I'm using the pointy one, is you want to fill in the window. So, and try to make one stroke, if you can, all the way up. And do not hit the early espresso. So, when you first start with the water painter, 
it's going to have a lot of water on it so try not to get it close to um, their early espresso so I'm going to very very carefully fill this all in so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back now that you filled in your window and this will get lighter with time because it's you know it's been watered down so we're going to go ahead and mask this window onto our piece here now I'm using this teal removable Tombow stuff because it does really well when you remove. Now in the new catalog, and I can't get it yet because it's not on the pre-order, they have um, masking papers. So in the future, if you wanted to mask something and you got this die, you can cut it out on the die and it's on this masking paper. You take it off and then, oh yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm going to totally order that. So I'm going to mask this over here just like so. And then I'm gonna grab a piece of scratch paper and another blending brush and soft suede. And we're going to do the wall here. And I'm gonna tap it off. And I am gonna hold down this mask a little bit because sometimes it does move. And I'm gonna start swirling in. And you don't have to do all of it, obviously, because we're gonna cover it up with the carpet, which is fun, I'll show you that in a minute. So this goes just, you don't have to do a lot of it, just enough to make beige walls and just like, I think we're about ready, like so. Now we're gonna put down the carpet and this paper is the new 22 to 24 in color paper. And isn't it pretty? And what's great, it's all the, of course the in colors, but it's polka dots and stripes and flowers. And boy, I love stripes and plaids. So this is great. And I I just got all these papers and I'm already using them. And I never use my in-color colors. It's like, eh, pss, I forget about them and they're not so great, but these are fantastic. And what I do is I also put it in my little, uh, little pouch here. This is on, uh, there's a link in my video, an Amazon link, so you can grab it. And then I tape uh, on a piece of cardboard part of the packaging so I know what it is and everything and I just stick it in the back here and then put this all in like so and then it can keep all my little scraps and everything so this is great so you're going to cut a piece of the in color and this is going to be two by four and like I said all the measurements are in my video so or the description of my video so you don't have to worry about writing it down and I'm just going to put I'm going to install the carpet for the puppy so just like that. Now we're gonna do this little plant cause he needed something next to him I thought. So back to welcoming window, I'm gonna take the smallest pot and I'm gonna use cinnamon cider and we're gonna stamp that one just like that. And then we're going to do the plant. So I'm gonna be taking parakeet party a new color from the 22 to 24 in color. So I'm going to stamp the parakeet, isn't that a pretty green? That's a pretty green. And then we're gonna be taking Sweet Sorbet, on also a new color from the new um, color. So before you do the flower, kind of line up and make sure you got it where it's supposed to go. And you can look at the box here. So the little three dots are up in the right hand corner. So I know I'm right. And I'm just going to do this hopefully without sticking my head in the camera and just stamp that like so. Now we're gonna die cut our plant here. So I'm gonna take the dies from Welcoming Window as part of the bundle here. This is not in the new catalog. So if you want Welcoming Window, you gotta order it now because once it's gone, it's gone. And I do at the end of uh, every catalog, I do sell all my retired. So if you're watching this in the future and you want this set, email me and ask me if I still have it and I'll sell it to you. Also, I use magnetic sheets. These are great to put next to your uh, die cutter. So when you're die cutting and you put the die down, it goes back on the mat and not into the table that eats everything. Because <laughs> I mean, it could be right in front of you and you could be looking for a half an hour. I also just tape back the original uh, plastic uh, envelopes that they come in and I put them all in here and they're all inclusive so I'm not losing stuff. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. So I'm gonna be putting these down. I'm gonna be using my delicate frog tape. That's my tape of choice. 
and I'm going to tape both of these down and I'm going to cut them out. And here's our cut. So I'm going to take these cuts and I'm going to put them to the side. And now we're going to stamp out the two, the kitty and the doggy here. So I'm going to take these two because this third card is basically the same kind of technique as that one. So we don't need to do that one. So go ahead and stamp these out in memento. So I went ahead and cut this in half because I don't want to be pushing my hand over anything. Uh, let's start with the kitty. I'm going to just take my basic black Stampin' Right marker. You can get the Stampin' Right marker by itself. Uh, they're like four bucks. The part number is in the description of my video. And the reason why I like this and all the Stampin' Rights is because it has a fine tip on it. So um, it's really nice when you have something small and you're trying to color it in. And I'm just coloring in all the legs. So I'm going to do the legs first and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to do the kitty in dark so saffron and on the pointy end and just very carefully do the kitty. And I'm doing the kitty and the doggy first before we color anything because you really want to start with your lightest color. It's, it's believe it or not, it's just easier. So I'm going to just fill in the kitty in the so saffron like that. And it's dark. And then I'm going to, for the doggy, I'm going to color him in with ivory because he kind of had it kind of had the most light brown look to it of all the the colors here and I'm just going to color him in real quick and now I'm going to take my light sweet sorbet and just dot that nose so he has a little pink nose and now we're going to go ahead and do the chair for the kitty and I'm going to take my light and dark soft succulent and on the pointy end, I am going to, for the dark soft succulent, I'm going to color in all the leaves on the couch and the stem. Just color in those. And I know we're doing dark first, which makes no sense, but it, yeah, do your dark first. And uh, so yeah, I, I did wanna do this because my little puppy died. And if you notice in the intro of my video, where you actually see my face, um, in the background, there's a painting of a dog, of a Pomeranian. That's Fado. My sister did that years ago. And I, yeah, he'll always be on my wall. So that is Fado. So anyway, I'm going to color all these leaves and I'll be right back. So I've got all the dark soft succulents in. Now, if you happen to have a soft succulent stamp and write, I would even, the little stems, I would use a pointy and then put the stems. I did a, on a couple of them and it looks so much nicer than if you use this one. But if you don't have it, you know, that's fine. And then we're gonna take the light soft succulent and we're gonna fill in the rest. Now, the soft succulent is actually gonna be retiring in 2023. So we've got another year of this color but oh and i missed one right here this is a great time to use this stamp and write when you see something that's in the corner is really small this is great anyway um but the colors that are going to be retiring here in uh may are cinnamon cider which we used on that pot uh just jade bumblebee magenta madness madness and misty moonlight so if you want those i would start ordering them now especially the refills if you want to keep them around uh, because they're gonna, they're gonna go away. So um, you definitely want to do that. So anyway, I'm gonna color in the background of this chair and I'll be right back. Now I'm gonna take my light evening evergreen and do the little swirlies on the arms. And I'm also, when I'm doing this, I'm trying not to cover up the black line as much as I can because it'll just keep it nice and, and crisp. So I'm gonna go ahead and color these in. And that's the kitty chair. Now let's do the puppy chair. I'm gonna take my light and dark mango melody and I'm gonna go ahead and color in uh, every other stripe with each color. So I'm gonna do the white stripe in the light and the dark in the dark. So let me go ahead and do the light first. So there's my light stripe and now I'm gonna go in with the dark mango melody and go over the dark stripes and here's my little puppy now my dark mango melody 
was conking out on me, so I used my Stampin' Right, another reason to use these. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. Now, I'm gonna use my brother Scan and Cut. I will put uh, a video link to a basic brother uh, Scan and Cut tutorial to cut things. Um, so I'll put that in the uh, body of my video with all the dimensions and all the colors and everything. But you could easily fuzzy cut this out. I'm just going to use my brother Scan and Cut because it's uh, a lot smoother and a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. And look at that. Look at how that brother really gives a beautiful cut. And the Stampin' Up! paper works really well. Um, and now I'm going to take that black Stampin' Right marker, which I said you can get these by themselves and they're like $4. And I'm going to take the cutting and I'm going to etch around the uh, outline here. So it takes off that white um, that's showing through because even on the brother, it will leave a little white. And just do it really slow because if you go too fast, you can go whoops <laughs> and then you just wasted a whole bunch of time. So I'm going to go ahead and outline these and I'll be back. Now the last thing we need to do before we put it all together is make the little missing you tag from here. I'm using Starry Sky and this is a new die called Stylish Shapes. And I took the little banner from here and made this, but look at these, they have nice small circles and squares and banners. So like I said, I keep it on my magnet thing here. So when I'm die cutting, I put it back on and don't lose it. And so I went ahead and did that. Now let's put this first card together. The first thing I'm going to do is take off that mask and expose the window here. And if there's any glue, you can just rub it right off. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this on the card base. So I went ahead and dimensionaled everything up. So let's put on the chair. And then I'm going to take the pot for the plant. And this is the only thing I'm snailing. And I'm going to snail this and put it here. And then I'm going to take the flowers and put it on top of there. And then take the missing you and put it up there. So we're finished with the doggy card. Now finish, let's finish the kitty. So let's do the kitty card. The first thing we're going to do is the inside. And I would have already just pre-done it, but I wanted to show you something first. This paper here is new. It's called Perfectly Penciled. And this is what it looks like. So we've got all these really pretty black and white prints. And of course, I take all my paper and I put it in this folder and it keeps all the pieces, like if I have scraps and everything. This folder is also in the description of my video. Just click that show more and I'm bringing it down in there. Amazon links for that too. So that's perfectly penciled from the new catalog. And then also from the new catalog is Fabulous Frames. And boy, do I love this one. This is going to come up a lot. This is what I like to call an orphaned die because it doesn't have any coordinating stamp. It's just on its own, just like the one for stylish shapes that I did the little banner on the other card. It's also an orphan stamp. It's just circle squares and banners. So I love dies like this. I look for them specifically in the new catalogs because they just help you out with everything and it helps out with this. So I took this die from Fabulous Frames and I made one in black and one in white. And all I'm going to do is layer them. So I'm going to take the black one and snail it up using my silicone craft sheet, which is awesome because it keeps my glass here nice and clean. There'll be a link for that in my video to, or my description as well. And you can click on it and place an order. So here is the black one. And then I'm going to take a white one and just inlay it here in the middle for the sentiment. So, and then I can just use these for another project. Now I'm going to take that perfectly penciled again, and this is four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to take that same frame and I'm going to die cut it about here. I'm going to give myself some room for the sentiment tag on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and die cut this. And this is what you get. You get the uh, piece here and then you get two of these. So it does an outline and a middle. So we don't need these. So we can put these to the side and use it on another project and go ahead and snail this up onto the card. Now I'm going to make this frame. Now, 
these two cards are similar in this technique. So this DS paper, which is part of Sun Prints, which is new. So it's the back side of one of the blue prints and they have all kinds of beautiful colors in here. And of course I put it in my folder so everything is nice and I can keep all the pieces. So it's the same basic thing. You cut this piece just like we cut this one. Now I'm gonna do the frame and I'm going to be using the foam adhesive sheets. And I'm going to take a piece because they come in little squares and I'm going to cut this square three inches by four and a half inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. So I went ahead and when I cut this, I cut it on my uh, Stampin' Up cutter one side and then I turned it over and cut the other side and then it'll come right off. Now I don't have to cut the length if I don't want to, but I'm just gonna just leave it. So I'm gonna take off this side here and I'm gonna put my gold foil right on top. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab that frame again here and I'm going to uh, cut it out. The next thing we're gonna do is make this wallpaper background behind the little picture here. And you can do this two ways. You can either cut a piece of that sun prints, which I showed you on this card here, or you can die cut it with a frame and inlay it. So either way is fine. If you cut it, and like I said, all the dimensions are in my uh, description of my video, it's two and a half by three and a quarter. So I'm gonna take my snail and snail that and put it right in the middle like so. And make sure, <laughs> don't do what I did. You gotta make sure the wallpaper is going in the right direction. There you go. And now I'm gonna take my frame. So we made this frame. You're gonna take off the back peel of this and we're gonna line this up. I might have to stick my head in the camera, sorry, because I want it to be perfect. This is why you put the gold on the um, foam adhesive uh, sheets because it this thing is kind of um, thin and wildly so um, to put the gold on top of the thing after you cut it, yeah, it'd be a nightmare. So I'm gonna take a minute and get this on perfectly straight. Okay, now you're gonna take the little tag from the uh, Fabulous Frames and you're gonna cut this out and sew saffron just like the kitty is. And you're gonna stamp Starry Sky Missing You. So that's how we do the tag. Now we're gonna do the window and we're gonna use the window flower um, die that went with the uh, welcoming windows and you're gonna cut that in basic black. Now, since this window is so big, we're gonna cut off this bottom piece. So just fussy cut that off, then take some snail. And this is a piece of New Horizon. I did a whole video on how this is the most versatile paper there is. And I'll put that in the link of the video as well. You can watch it because this stuff is fantastic. Unfortunately, it's not in the new 2223 catalog. So if you want it, buy it now before they run out. Um, if you're watching this video in the future and they're already out of stock, I might have an, one pack by that time. I'm not sure, I have a whole unused pack here that I'll be selling once uh, Stampin' Up! has gotten rid of everything. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna grab this piece of New Horizon and on a good corner here, cause that corner is not straight, I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm gonna put it back over here and I'm gonna line it up there and then I'm just going to fussy cut it out. Now the fun part, just the assembly. So I'm gonna take the window and I'm gonna put it on first and snail it and put it right there in the corner. I've already dimensionaled everything. So I'm gonna put my kitty right here and I dimensional the tag of course missing you. And that's the card. And basically the other one is the same thing, except in the background, I use that in color, the 22 to 24 in color behind there and that starry sky and mango melody. And then I use the corners from 
fabulous frames it's these corners make four little corners and i just did that in the gold but it it's basically the same technique as this one but don't forget i give away the demo card first time subscriber like subscribe put in the comments your email i would like to win the demo card and i'll email you back and let you know if you won one of these cards there's four or five of them actually so that'll do it for me thanks bye